Greetings everyone and welcome back to another one of my astrology videos. My name is Sean Van De Veen, and today I'm going to discuss the natal characteristics of Mars and Pisces. If you have this placement in your birth chart or if you're just curious as to what this entails then this video is for you. So pull up a seat, sit back and enjoy this presentation. Now to fully understand Mars and Pisces energy we need to break it down. In astrology, Mars is the planet of action, physical energy, sexuality, sports, combat, passion, decisiveness, assertiveness, competition, aggression, and motivation. It is personified by soldiers, athletes, the military, horse and indie car racing, motivational speakers, firefighters, and anything to do with physical activity. The zodiac sign of Pisces, which is ruled by Neptune, is dreamy, compassionate, gentle, spiritual, musical, and transcending. As a result, the Mars and Pisces individual is very compassionate, willing to sacrifice themselves for the needs of others. In most other signs, Mars would be more assertive, having no difficulty standing his ground and putting up a good fight. When it's placed in the dreamy sign of Pisces, however, the native seems to just go with the flow. Mars and Pisces natives are peacemakers instead of fighters. They prefer to sit back and see how everything plays out before making a move. They have a highly charged intuition with much empathy for other people. Often, they're gifted psychic healers, and if Uranus is well aspected, they could excel in Reiki, clairvoyance, and clairaudience. Mars in Pisces is inherently kind, caring, and selfless, and consequently, others may take advantage of these qualities. It seems they have such a difficult time standing up for themselves due to their gentle nature, as they're inclined to withdraw to the sidelines. Mars in Pisces enjoys creating and living out fantasy. They can dream up very magical fairy tale worlds, which in my opinion, they do well as video game designers, visual artists of many kinds, novelists, or architects. They are blessed with keen artistic abilities. And since Pisces is a water sign, Mars in Pisces natives are natural choreographers of dancing, particularly in synchronized swimming. If they somehow become engineers, they'd be among the best to design the ideal water amusement park. Because of their escapist tendencies, they'd also make excellent actors, fashion models, and musicians. Mars and Pisces may have difficulty expressing anger. With Pisces being a water sign, and Mars a fiery planet. They may experience mood swings, which at times may be uncontrollable. Mars in Pisces does not get angry, but they feel deeply hurt if they get offended. Their peaceful nature always inhibits their ability to engage in combat. And unless they channel their emotions constructively, they can become destructive without realizing it. Mars in Pisces is often confused about existence itself. They struggle to find a life purpose and will coast through life as if they're cosmic dust, drifting through a vast universe. Mars in Pisces natives are lovers, not fighters, so they'd rather suck up insults instead of cussing the other offender back. This energy makes them hypersensitive to injustices inflicted upon everyone around them, but instead of confronting the source of evil, they withdraw into their comfort zone. Mars and Pisces escapes the harsh realities of life to the point they neglect responsibilities and concrete decision making. I believe one with this placement would say that life is a fantasy or daydream, and unless if Saturn was developed enough to ground them, this third dimensional reality would compel them to escape through drug addiction and alcohol. 
If Mars is heavily afflicted, Mars and Pisces natives may resort to criminal tactics to attain these intoxicating substances, winding up in jail as punishment. Pisces is also the sign of prisons, rehabilitation, and confinement. They must learn to adopt proper healing techniques such as meditation, heavy breathing exercises, yoga, and their innate artistic abilities to channel their energies. If they can succeed, they can become superstars, dazzling audiences with their musical or dramatic flair. Some of the most dynamic celebrities were born with Mars and Pisces. The most notable are Marilyn Monroe, Cindy Crawford, Paris Hilton, Bono, Stan Lee, Heath Ledger, Hugo Weaving, Sarah Michelle Gellar, LL Cool J, Shirley Temple, Matthew Broderick, Tom Hanks, and Michelle Pfeiffer. All of these have made unrivaled contributions to entertainment and will forever be cherished by millions of fans. When it comes to relationships, Mars and Pisces natives have high ideals of love and romance. If they're single, they'll often fantasize about their ideal partner, who must also be kind, gentle, and compassionate. If in a committed relationship, they'll dream of ways to make their partner more mystically beautiful. Someone too selfish and uncultured will be too much, but due to their empathic ways, the Mars and Pisces native may be too forgiving. In order to attract and retain their ideal soulmate, they must cultivate clear boundaries, which is difficult for them to establish in the first place. As I have alluded to before, Mars in Pisces is very easygoing and laid back, taking life as it is, avoiding responsibility, and standing up for their personal needs. If another truly respects them, however, they can be the best partner anyone can have. Mars and Pisces will shower you with love and affection, not to mention unyielding compassion. So, this has been my take on the natal Mars and Pisces energy. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and a comment. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I appreciate all the love and support you give, and it helps to grow my channel further. So I'll close by saying peace, much love, and namaste. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Be safe and kind to one another. And I'll see you in the next video. Godspeed.